The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks, or good morning, uh, folks. Uh, welcome to the September 17th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Traders Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what the bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past. Typically, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, but right now it's seven minutes after eight. So I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's if you're listening in between eight and nine. I'm here to serve you during this next 60 minutes. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject heading, please put radio show question in, in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. Right now, we got uh, all the U.S. Indice, uh, equity futures contracts trading a bit lower. The Dow's down 47, NASDAQ 21, S&P 7, Amin is down 4. Now, we're going to switch right from here uh, because I want to show you what's going on intraday. Uh, this may be applicable to you at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, at least with regard to uh, where the markets are headed to. So uh, this morning at about uh, 7 or so, 7.30, yeah, about 7.30 or so, I was able to post in the den that each of the four 30-minute equity futures contracts, that's what you're seeing up on. Oh, you're not seeing that. I got the daily. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. Uh, Stevie getting used to this. So now you should see the 30-minute charts for the ES, the NQ, the Dow, and the Russell 2000. And each of them formed TD nine count bottoms. Now the uh, NQ formed its just a tad earlier, about a half an hour earlier than the ES, the Dow, and the uh, Russell 2000. Nonetheless, doesn't matter. We have TD nine count bottoms. So we're doing this live. That's just a perfect thing. Was able to send out that message to the folks in the den, those folks that wanted to take a short-term trade to the upside, or maybe more than a short-term trade to the upside, or if they were short, at least they could anticipate this bounce that was uh, likely to form because of the consistency here with four, each of the equity futures contracts generating those bottom signals. Now, the first move here, let's take a look at the ES Mini. So it's also formed a brand new profile. So we know that support is at 44.50 and resistance appears to be at 44.59, the uh, top of the profile. Looks, oh, the center's at 44.51. So price is gonna first take on, so when you get this bottom or top, and you'll see this as we take a look at charts today, um, what price then does is it should go test the first level of support or resistance, depending on whether it's a uh, trade to the upside or the downside. But in this case, you're a trade to the upside. The first level of resistance is going to be that oscillator and change line. Now, we've got to take into account the TAS profiles as well. But right now, in the ES, it's the oscillator and change line, which is red. Very likely, you'd at least see a spike to 44.59. If price closes above 44.59, the OUL, by the way, is at 44.58. If uh, price closes above 44.59, you should expect and anticipate a rally up to the 44.72.50 level. Now, if price closes above 44.72.50, so this is applicable most certainly at uh, 110 in the afternoon out here. Price is trading above that level. Uh, that tells us about a change in trend, and then that takes us back to the daily chart. I'll do that for you, uh, but i got to change screens, right? So the price target then a price target, there's a couple that I'll provide to you, would be 44.99. Now, I believe that uh, our polar bear, and I wish he was online here listening, I, I think his, uh, he was the, the, uh, uh, the options market was targeting about 45, 
hundred or so in the ES Mini. So I'd be curious to see if that is still the case. And if that's the case, folks, then you're going to start to see these levels fail. 44.59 would be first, and then 44.72. Uh, and so if that's taken place, then I would say that uh, the options uh, tool that uh, uh, our polar bear David White uh, uses would be uh, telling us, okay, expect they move to that 4,500. Well, that gets us to 4,499, uh, which is the oscillator and change line. I know you're not seeing that chart. Again, it's too hard to flip back and forth. Yeah, let's go through the NQ. So I'll do this intraday for you so you know what to take a look at. So you can see the form tonight, form a nice TD9 count. If you don't know what the TD9 count pattern is, uh, just subscribe to Mastering Probability, my daily newsletter. You can do it for 29 days. You're going to get eight, nine hours worth of uh, of uh, great tools and workshops, tools that I share here, and you'll figure out how to apply those to your uh, trading. You want to be able to apply these to your trading, folks. So this is a very powerful TD9 count bottom inside the NQ. So you really want to watch the 15, 464, 25 level all day. If price goes to the uh, downside out here, um, if price is going to go to the downside, price is going to have to take that level out. Likewise, price is right now running up into the resistance level, right? The top of its profile, the green oscillator and change line, that's price at 15,493. If price closes above that, you can expect and anticipate a move to 15,527. That's the TD9 breakdown level. Again, a close above that, that says more rally to come. The Dow equity future contract, right now you can see that it, that's the lower left, you can see that it is testing the uh, TD, uh, the uh, uh, oscillator and change line, which is red top of its profile 34606 that's the first level you'd be taking a look at if at 830 uh we see prices closed above 34606 then the dow should target 34710 and if the dow is able to close above 34710 a further rally further rally to where uh in the dow you're looking at 34867 in the nq you're looking at 15625 and in the russell 2000 it's 2236 now 2232 Three twenty-two, thirty-two, sixty, twenty-two, thirty-three, thirty, are the TD9 breakdown level. So if price closes above that, you've got to focus on the daily time frame oscillator and change line. Let me just change the uh, uh, screens here for a, a moment. We'll go over to the daily time frame, then you'll see this, and you'll put it hopefully put this all together. But in the we're looking at the bottom right hand chart out there, and that's the Russell 2000, the daily time frame. You can see how that oscillator and change line. The reason I created this was because I needed to understand when retracements or uh, bounces were just counter trend rallies. And that's what this green oscillator and change line tells us. So if the Russell 2000 equity future contract today at the end of the day close above 2236.90 that is going to tell us about more rally to come so you can see the oscillator and change line levels out here for the daily time frame uh, let's go to uh, Brent in Martinez California Brent thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you today oh good morning Steve how are you I am doing well. You are up uh, nice and early. Uh, folks, Brent is in, if I didn't mention it, he is in Martinez, California. So it's 514 in the morning. We love that dedication. Totally. So, uh, Brent, uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for uh, uh, tuning in. And uh, you wanted to chat about the Dow, I believe. It's really just about the market, uh, all the equity future contracts. Okay. And my observation is going back to... There's been some great day trading opportunities, I guess is my main point. Yes. Uh, going back to last Thursday and Friday, it, it's been interesting that it's been kind of the opposite of what the futures are showing as the market opens. Um, hey, 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 Brent, can like you give me a favor? A break. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 did, I wasn't paying attention to the clock. So I'll hold that okay. thought, if you will, and we'll, we'll, re, we'll re begin in just a few minutes. Folks, uh, stay tuned. Brett and I will be coming back in about three, four, or five minutes. Or so. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. 
For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. It's 818 in the morning, by the way. We're recording this show uh, earlier than uh, normal. It's being replayed at uh, 118. So if you're listening in, at 118. Thanks so much for uh, doing that. We'll make this as pertinent as we can for that listening hour as well. So, Brent, uh, uh, we were you were about to talk about the uh, the equity futures contracts out here and some observations that you've uh, that you've developed. So, would you be kind enough to go ahead and, and restart that and share that with us? Yeah, no problem. It just seemed like it started most noticeably on last Thursday and Friday, where it looked like the market was going to you know show that it was going to be up. The futures are up. But then yes. by the end of the day, it had gone negative. So, and then probably, you know, so then this Wednesday and Thursday, just the opposite, where it was down, and by the end of yes. the day, it was up. And so there's just been some good, you know, day trading opportunities. If you look at the, probably the, the YM shows at the best that we're in this consolidation now where you have, a, and it's a decent sized range. Yes. You have the opportunity, and you kind of touched on it when you started the show that we put it in that TD9 count, I guess, at the bottom, and that would be the trade I would be making today. If, if things look more negative, I'd be buying calls. So, that's so what I to with talk about. yeah. So the only so with regard to the Dow, and I'm going to put up the uh, Dow charts uh, on the screen right now. And the very right hand panel on the upper right here, I'll just expand it out. Is the daily time frame for the uh, Dow? Let me just pull this back a tad. So the interesting thing about the Dow is that it formed two days ago, uh, bar number eight which uh, uh, after yesterday's, uh, well, has, has held up. So it has an actual, not only does the Dow Equity Future contract have a TD9 count bottom, but on a daily basis, the uh, Dow cash indice, not the futures contract, folks, so just the cash indice, so we don't have an agreement here. I prefer to have an agreement, a unanimous decision. But at this stage here, what we should be anticipating today is that the Dow will go ahead and try to target the 35016 level. Uh, 35016 is its oscillator and change line, which is green. And so if the Dow is able to close above that, then, folks, what it would be signaling to us is a move up to its TD9 breakdown level, 
which is at the 35475 area. So this would be an area at 120 in the afternoon. I'd be looking to see is the Dow trading above or below 35.016. Now that number is going to change just a tad, so it might be 20 or it might be 21 or, or along those lines. But if price is trading above that area, it's telling us that it wants to continue to move further. So that's that's one thing that I would, I would uh, share with you. And typically, folks, when we get a bottom signal, such as a TD9 count out there, what I like to do is look at the intraday time frame. So for cash indices out here, I break the six and a half hour day into equal bars. That way we're looking at apples versus apples. And here, the, so that I use, there's 295 minute bars in a day. Uh, there's 390 minutes uh, in a uh, uh, trading cash indice trading. So we use 195, 130, 65, 30. And what I like to look for here is, is some type of conference. If there's going to be a change in trend or bottom that's going to form, we're going to see that or we should see that take place in the intraday charts as well. Guess what? The 30 minute chart has a TD9 count bottom, a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Uh, the 65 minutes got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, as does the 130 out here. So uh, everything is pointing to at least some type of rally today. Whether it holds or not, you know, price should target that 35.016 level. So, Brent, you know, just sharing that information with you. Any questions about these charts? No, that's great. That's uh, kind of my thinking that there's a potential to, you know, to buy some calls, you know, the weekly ones. Yeah, are, you know, of course, very inexpensive on a on a Friday. So, and in this case, I guess it's the monthly. It would happen to be on on that uh, part of the calendar. But um, I was going to ask you, and I appreciate this very much. And if you, so out of these different between the YM, the, the you know the, the uh, Nasdaq, the S and P, and the Dow, so you're thinking the Dow's got, got the best opportunity, or not necessarily. You know, so that's a great question. Um, the the only way I can what I what I can. So the question is: Is there is there a is there a clear is there a clear winner that should should take the markets higher? And would the Dow be the one that would have the largest gain? Let's say, I would leave the Russell two thousand, which of course that we know that that thing can be on fire to the upside, but because price is below its daily profile. So I'm going to say, Brent, we're going to just take the Russell 2000 and put that off to the side. At least in the case of the ES, the NQ, and the Dow, they're at least trading with inside their daily profiles. So we're at 4460 right now inside the ES, and 4482 is the center of its profile. And that becomes a uh, price target. So you kind of have to do, you know, if, if price can get above that, then you could make a run up to 4528. The NQ uh, the NQ's resistance level is 15,568. It's really the NQ where we get a, a determination of whether this is just a counter trend rally. So I'm going to expand this chart up on the screen. And the reason that I, I say that, Brent, is because in the daily profile, which was bullish in structure, we had a close below it on September the 10th, the following uh, trading session on the 13th, the following trading session on the 14th. So we had more than two bars close below that level. And it's a bullish structured profile. My experience is that counter trend rallies will end at either the bottom of the box or really more likely the center of that bullish structured profile. So that's at 15,568. And the reason I'm spending some time on this, folks, with, with, with Brent and with you is because at 124 in the afternoon, if price is trading above the NQ, that is 15,568, it should make its way up to the 15,701 level out there. So, you know, the NQ may, and the NQ came down, tested, and rejected the top of its <laughs> weekly profile. So it's, uh, I mean, that looks like a pretty decent trade, too. Um, and the Dow, its resistance level is going to be 34,471. Uh, that is the Dow Equity Future contract. I, I, Brent, I don't know that I can clearly, it, it, there have been times where Brent's asked that same question, you know, of the four, which one do you think has the best opportunity? And I don't have a, uh, I don't have a clear conviction and reasons, you know, when I take a look at these stock charts here to, to be able to pick one versus the other. I would say, though, yeah, and, and it's, it, 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 you know, the problem with the NQ, I'd say, hey, this is great. It's straight inside a bullish structured profile. But I know that that 15, 15, 568 level, Brent, that could be where the market turns back down. If it does, it wouldn't surprise me. But if price closes above that, then you're back up to the top of the uh, profile, 15,701. Is that, am I confusing you? No, no, I appreciate it. No, you're being honest about you know, what the parameters are and what, you know, what the 
potential resistance areas are going to be. That's what I'm yeah. looking for. I mean, the, the, the Dow certainly it, is. If you get a chance, I mean, I, this is great. I really appreciate it. But if you have a chance before the days, you know, ends here for you. Yeah. To talk about gold. I know that you've talked about a consolidation. And I thought the lower end of that was around 1770. And we were below that now. So if you get a chance to talk about that, I appreciate no, let's, it. Let's, 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 let's do this together right now. Because, you know, you're asking everybody else. And, I, of course, I would cover gold during the show today. But here's we take a look at gold. On the left-hand side, you've got the daily chart out here. And it has approached or has reached the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. If we had a bullish reversal candle today, then you could. Then what you've got is a uh, Gartley buy pattern. Until we get a bullish reversal candle, we won't have a confirmed bottom. Another level to be watching today inside of gold is going to be 1772.60. That's the bottom of its uh, bullish structured weekly profile. So, Brent, if gold's going to bottom, we'd really like to see it close above that 1772.60 level. But I'll spend some more time on it at some point in time, certainly during the show. And uh, thank you so much for getting up early and uh, joining us. Much appreciated and have a great weekend. It's always a pleasure, Steve. Thanks so much for your help, and just have a great weekend. Take care. You bet. You bet. That was Brett to Martinez, California. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome uh, back, folks. So uh, Mike King of the Tiger Stand, along with Brent, wanted to take a look at the uh, metals area. And so we'll continue taking a look at gold. Again, the uh, key level, and we've got two different profile levels. If you're looking at my uh, chart up here, which you should on the weekly chart, you'll see it's at uh, about the 1761 area is at the bottom of its profile. Uh, eight, I'm sorry, it is 
1758.50, and which is different than the 1772 uh, area. Um, is that correct? Hold on a minute here. No, it's not. That's not right. It's 17. Yes, bottom would be 1758.50, um, and uh, the the other screen that I was showing you. So we had gold roll over into the December contract, uh, I believe it was last week. And uh, so the other screen that I was sharing with you is my synthetic version of the contract. And it allows me to stitch together all the futures. And so sometimes we have some different profile levels. So they, and they're both they're both accurate. So at this stage here, we're going to say we're going to use the profile level on, on my Ninja Trader uh, charts out here. And so as long as so this is gold, as long as gold can uh, close above uh, the bottom of that profile, 1785.50 on a weekly basis, uh, then uh, then support will have held. And that's an important thing with regard to the uh, push down uh, from uh, yesterday. And what gold already has around a weekly basis, it has a Gartley buy pattern. It has a buy the D point. You see that nice big hammer candle out there. And uh, on the daily time frame, it needs a bullish reversal candle, and it, we just don't have one as we speak at this stage out here. But at day's end, perhaps that's what we get. If we look at short-term time frame charts, where are levels to be watching? Uh, Mike, on a 30-minute time frame, you're looking at 1767. The 60-minute 60 is 1767. 1767 on the 120, 1767 on the 240 because it's a red oscillator and change line, and about the 1768 uh, area on the uh, – so we'll make it the, 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 the more difficult one. If 1769.40, if gold can close above 1769, or it's trading above 1769.40, especially at 132 in the afternoon, well, that would be signaling to us a further rally. Now, as far as rally points uh, for gold, if this unfolds, and what you want to the bottom, you want to watch 17, 1753.70. If we see a close below that, that says we're at least headed to retest yesterday's lows, if not lower out there. But the upside targets, if price can take out, uh, those areas, uh, 1787, 1808, 1797, those become the upward uh, price targets. Now, some new profiles are going to form between now at 832 and 132 in the afternoon, but I don't have those available. So the, we'll still have to use these. These targets that I'm providing to you are the TD9 breakdown levels out there. So that's what's going on when we take a look at uh, gold. If we take a look at uh, silver out here, just to cover the metals. If we look at the silver uh, chart, so what silver did yesterday, it's moved lower. It never negated, and here's the daily chart. I'll just simply expand this out. It never negated its uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. So back here, you've got the, uh, and, and each of my patterns are confirmed with either bullish or bearish reversal candles. Well, in the case of a bullish engulfing candle, the candles that it engulfs, the lowest low becomes the support level. Well, so in this case here for silver, uh, that low was 2288, I believe was it was, uh, hold on, the low is 2288. Hey, not bad for a memory out there. Now, if price were trading below that right now, and if price closes below that level, support will have failed, that pattern will have failed, and then we've got the A to B equals CD to the downside, which takes us into the 22. You know, 40-ish area, maybe it's uh, more than uh, that. So silver so far on a daily basis actually held up pretty well yesterday because price did not bust through uh, uh, through support out there. Uh, Mike also wanted to look at the GDX. So in order, so to, uh, give me a moment here to. Uh, oh, I know I can I can pull that over. So give me a moment here. You're going to see a blank screen for a minute while I try to uh, get to this radio charts. There we go, and pull over the GDX. So as we pull over the GDX, Mike, you can see price is moving lower, doing less relative energy out here. Just like silver yesterday held its Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom, so too has the GDX. This has a three river morning star. Price would need to close below. The GDX closes below 3069. Yesterday's close with 3092. Uh, then it uh, then the GDX has has problems. <laughs> But at this stage here, yesterday was a test with volume of that swing point. Uh, but that Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom uh, still held out here. And you can see that price is pretty much consolidating with inside its uh, daily profile, which is really a similar setup to silver if we're 
to go take a look at the uh, silver daily profile levels out there. So nothing else uh, that I can share with you. Of course, if you get a bullish reversal candle today, then you'd have two roads momentum indicator bottom uh, signals out there. And uh, we're going to, uh, we've got a request that came in. So we're going to stick with the metals market. This is coming in from Dan F. And Dan is in uh, New York City. Dan, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And Dan wants to take a look at this symbol here. This is uh, ANGPY. I don't know what the name of it is. I'd have to go look at Well, let me go look it up here. ANGPY. And that is going to be Anglo-American Platinum. So Dan writes in, looking for an entry on this platinum mining company. Uh, Tom talked about this company on his show uh, this week. Dan from New York City. So Dan, you've got price moving lower, doing less relative energy. That triggers this road's momentum indicator signal. Those are these black diagonal lines. So if you were to get a bullish reversal candle today, that is your confirmation of a bottom. Resistance levels in this equity right now are going to be 1661. That's the red oscillator and change line. You definitely want to see price close above that. Does it have to be today? No, but you certainly want to see price close above. And if it did close above it today, that would be a plus. The next resistance, if price can clear that level, is going to be 1732. Above that, 1786. Above that, 1841. And if price can get above that, you're looking to move to 2186. So I don't know how ANGPY tracks platinum. Uh, but you really want to do keep an eye on this equity. Why? Great question. So here is the answer. I'm going to put one chart over another. This is the uh, platinum uh, chart. Platinum is still the October contract that is uh, trading out here. And if we take a look at an October contract on a daily basis, this formed a road's momentum indicator, a wave number seven uh, bottom out here, and price closed above its, uh, it's trading right now above its oscillator and change line. So if platinum itself, the metal, can close above 943.70 today, that's going to be a signal that we should see price make its way up to 1026.10. So again, back. So, so you've got confirmation. Again, I don't know the correlation. You might want to go check that out, uh, Dan. I'm assuming that there's a pretty good correlation. But look, the platinum contract formed a bottom two days ago, and we cannot say the same. Well, actually, we can. Uh, this formed a completed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. Uh, not yesterday, but the day before it had that nice little gap to the upside. But see, this is where that oscillator and change line, Dan, is so important. You can see that that's where price ran into resistance and then price fell back yesterday. And so it's really going to be a close. You know, the, here's where the, do you do you wait for confirmation and pay the higher price or do you take the uh, trade now? Um, and uh, I can't answer that for you. That's a personal decision that you have to make. All I can share with you is key levels of support or resistance, the bottom or topping patterns that are in play out here. And, and now what we can do, it, well, I, we can do it, but it's not going to net us anything. Is go to a short-term time frame chart to look for some type of signal. We're just not going to get that because price closed near the uh, low of its trading session yesterday. So, Dan, in New York City, uh, thanks again so much for uh, joining us. I hope that helps you out. And uh, best of luck to you on that trade. So, folks, uh, I am coming to you live at 8.30 in the morning. For those of you that are uh, with us right now, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, great to be with you. Always like doing the morning show, especially because we get to look at those equity futures contract. It was nice at 7.30 this morning to be able to share with folks in the den that we had bottom signals in the short-term time frame. We'll go take a look at those when we get back to this morning. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go take a look at those uh, short-term uh, equity futures uh, contracts out here. So each of them, we started off the morning uh, looking at these because each of them had the uh, TD9 count bottom pattern. And now what we can see is at the uh, 830 bar on the ES mini, price closed above the top of its bullish structure daily profile. It's above that oscillator and change line. So price should now target 44.72. I'm not saying price will take out 44.72, but that becomes its price target to the upside. If we take a look at the NQ out here, beautiful TD9, bullish structured profile, prices above the top of the profile, as well as the oscillator and change line, price should target 15,527. Now, folks, if price is trading above those two numbers, 44,7250 and 15,527.75, odds favor further rallies. We covered that. The potential rally in the ES could take you up to 4,500. In the NQ, we're looking at about 15,627. Back to the Dow equity future contract. It just closed above the top of its profile out there. That's a positive, and this is suggesting we could see a run to the 34.710 level. And inside the Russell 2000, it too closed above the top of its 30-minute profile, and that suggests a move to 23.3260, 22.3330 out there. So that's what's going on as we take a look at the uh, short term. Uh, let's switch back over to my uh, black background screens out here, and uh, because what I want to be able to do is uh, not necessarily take a look at uh, this here, uh, but take, take a look at just this a little market update chart that I typically do uh, use for the uh, one o'clock update. Now, the nice thing about this is that right now you and I can go lay our eyes on nine different charts, uh, nine different instruments. I realize it may be a little bit uh, difficult for you to, to completely uh, read out here. But in the upper left, you've got the ES mini. We've spent a lot of time talking about that. But you can see its profile levels out there. And each of those profile levels can be a support or resistance area. So 4482 is the uh, next level in the ES to be paying attention to. With regard to, let's say, 144 in the afternoon, if the market is rallying, what you'd want to look for inside the S&P 500, or the spot volatility, I should say, is where is it trading relationship to its 50-day exponential moving average? If price is below 1792, odds favor that price is trading below the 50-day exponential moving average. And from a directional standpoint, that is uh, bullish for the S&P 500 for the ES mini. So that's something to look at. In the NQ, we've talked about this. If you think I don't want to restate everything, 
But if the NQ price is trading above 15,568, that tells us that the rally off of the uh, low from three days ago, that this is more than a counter trend move, and that price should go target 15,701. Back to the ES mini. If you take a look, and that's the upper left-hand panel, I'm just going to expand the chart out here. We covered this yesterday, but I want to just make sure that I just restate it. This profile, this new profile that formed uh, two days ago, is wrapped around, the, so it's a, it's a lower low than the prior profile, and it's a higher high than the pro, prior profile. And I don't think that uh, when Brent called this morning, we talked about this. I, I did want to mention that. This is a sign. So to the extent that you would use the S&P 500 as your proxy for the market, this just delivered to us a consolidation pattern. So in other words, the, um, the move lower in October uh, inside the ES Mini, that, that could be just simply 4436. We could see. For a while here, a, a consolidation pattern unfold. But that's the message of its uh, profile. So I just want to make sure that I shared that with you. With regard to the U.S. dollar index, big move yesterday. And uh, the big move ran right into resistance at the top of the profile. How does that work? I don't know. I just know that these profiles do work, which is why and it's important to have, uh, have an understanding of where these are. Uh, subscribers to the newsletter get profile levels uh, every day for the uh, uh, S&P 500 sectors, uh, for each of the ETFs, uh, many of the uh, uh, futures contracts, including some of the soft commodities out there. Uh, so, uh, you know, you really want to know where these profile levels are at. So the U.S. dollar index makes its way up to resistance. We know that if price closes above 92.90, that says prices get back to its or should get back to its prior swing point. That's a swing point out here from August the 20th. But this could be a level of resistance. So if this is a level of resistance and the U.S. dollar backs off, presumably we would see gold move higher out there. In gold, you can see the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. But there's uh, until a bullish reversal candle forms, gold could target 1737, 1717, 1695. Those are all C to D expansion levels. Silver clearly consolidating between its daily and its uh, weekly profile levels. So really between, I'd say the, the, the real consolidation for silver is between 2272 and uh, 2491. Lightsweed crude. Uh, attempting to form a new profile, you'll see that that profile, let me just expand the chart out here for you. That's the lower left uh, panel. But you'll see that this new profile that is attempting to form it, oh, it just went away. Maybe it'll pop back here. Um, so I'm using uh, I'm using my advanced Doppler tool on the November contract here for Lights We Crude, and it appeared to form below price, which is a bullish message. It doesn't need that uh, this is the daily time frame chart to confirm the bullish message. Why? Because price is trading above the top of its bearish structure daily profile. And that signals that there could be, I'll draw this back in here, there could be an A to B equals CD to the upside. The A point out here for Lightsweet Crude is the low from August 23rd. The B point out here is going to be the high from September 2nd. And that leaves us with a, a C point down here. It looks like it might be this uh, trading session which was from September 9th. So Lightsweet Crude is generating a signal that it wants to go ahead and trade up to the 76, uh, 16 level. I would hearken to say that that's just the one-to-one -one target. And this was only a 33% retracement that we've got here. So that signals to us maybe more like a move to 78, 56 out there. Now Lightsweet Crude has got some resistance levels that it also has to deal with. I think the resistance level is the weekly chart. So I'm gonna move over to the weekly chart here just for a moment so that I make sure I provide you with the accurate information. And that is you'd wanna see price close above 72.36 in order for that A to B equals CD pattern to play out. 72.36 is the top of that uh, weekly profile. Now back to our market update uh, charts out here, and let's finish this off. So that was light sweet crude. Uh, if we take a look at natural gas, so natural gas has a TD nine count top, and it is also attempting to form a new profile, which I believe has already changed this morning. So right now it shows up as a bullish structured profile. Uh, before it was a bearish structured profile. Uh, what price is doing is uh, let me get to a different natural gas contract. It is trading above its oscillator and change line. So I know that there are folks inside the uh, Tiger's Den that trade natural gas and folks that are listening in on the uh, show out here. So when we go take a look at natural gas, I'm just going to simply flip charts out here. So I'm going to make sure that I give you the level to be observing uh, today on, on a uh, pullback here because if price closes below this level, well, give me a moment here to get to those charts. So what you're looking at here is, uh, I'll just expand out the chart. You can see the TD9 count top 
that formed out here. So now what price should do, whenever you get a topping signal, price should make its way back to a, a key level of support. The first key level of support is going to be its oscillator and change line, which is green. Testing and rejecting about the $5.19 level would be bullish. Of course, you have a top. So how can you have a bullish and then you've got a top? That means we would just simply move to neutral. But if price closes below $5.19, and right now we're looking at the uh, November uh, contract, that would then signal that price could pull back to about the 488 level. So that's what I'd be watching. Now, I'll look for a quick signal here on the 30-minute uh, time frame chart. And here, as we expand out the 30-minute time frame chart, what we don't show for natural gas is any kind of a uh, bottom signal. I'm letting this thing recalculate just to make sure. Give me a moment here. Well, I don't know why it's taking so long, but it is. Yeah, there is no bottom signal here. This actually suggests price could target $4.97 out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN coming to you at the early slot between 8 and 9. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back to close out the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, uh, folks. 8.54 in the morning, recording this show uh, between 8 and 9, and uh, trying to make it pertinent uh, for the afternoon uh, show as well. So thanks so much for joining us in both time slots. You know, when I start my day, I look at a number of different things. One of the things that I certainly take a look at is what's going on across the uh, globe out there. And uh, so here's a, a set of charts. Uh, this set of charts is included every morning in the uh, daily newsletter. And we can begin by taking a look at the Shanghai. Now, the Shanghai index over on the uh, left-hand side, uh, this has a sell the D point pattern prices below its oscillator and change line. Its downside target is 3601. That's opposite of the Hang Seng because the Hang Seng generated a road's momentum indicator bottom pattern today. It did that with this piercing candle. So the Hang Seng should target 25. 240 and above that back to its 26600 ish level its prior swing point high the nikkei has a td9 count top now its current signal here it's got a topping pattern but its current signal is really neutral neutral because price remains above its green oscillator and change line now price and that line should test each other if price gets below it shoot that could open up a move down to 28607 a bounce off of it it was nothing more than just your normal retracement and that would be a bullish signal the dax this morning so to get a feel for where our markets may be going what the dax did this this morning is it tested and rejected its TD9 breakout level. It has tested that and rejected that several times over the course of the last two weeks. That's at 15,680. So it hasn't been able to bust it down. Now, bust it up says price would go target the 15,732 level. That's that green oscillator and change line. So that would be its resistance area. The FTSE has the potential could even today hasn't so far uh, maybe that is on friday put in a td9 count bottom pattern above its breakout support level of 69.74 out here the u.s dollar index we covered that earlier we know that price hit the top of its daily profile and that's its resistance level price needs to get below 92.72 that's a green oscillator and change line to give us a signal that price is getting ready to pull back so, folks, thanks so much for joining us. Of course, you'll be listening at the uh, 9 o'clock hour. Tommy O'Brien, he's going to be up uh, next. And if you're listening at 1, it's your favorite polar bear, David White. Have a fantastic Friday, folks. I look forward to have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you Monday at the normal slot at 1 p.m. Take care.